Hello guys and welcome back to part 2 of my Galactic Craft tutorial with me Bashful Brit. Hope you guys have learnt a little bit from the last episode that I did and you guys have a little bit of a better understanding of how to start off on Galactic Craft. I know I had a little bit of trouble myself when I started off but hopefully I've been able to help you guys out and get you guys started. Um, so we're going to be continuing on from the last tutorial. Uh, I think la end of the last episode I told you guys to go gather a ton of ores and start gathering some oil uh, using the uh, portable oil extractor and canisters so you should guys should have plenty of oil on you now. Uh, this is all from the last episode still haven't cleaned up since then. Uh, so you should, guys should be looking at um, stuff like this field oil canisters and basically what you want to going to do next is you're going to want to be able, uh, be building a refinery. A refinery is basically going to refine all of the oil that we have. It's going to be quite a lengthy process. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of a while and it's going to take a fair amount of power what uh, to do it as well. Uh, this thing does require power like I just said and it, by the looks of it I'm not too sure I haven't tested this out yet but it looks like you can have uh, oil input on one side and fuel output on another side so you can have like a group of tanks pump it into there and then another group of tanks with fuel in it so you don't have to keep putting the canisters in you can just fill up uh, sort of a tank system and like do it like that <coughs> uh, save you manually putting everything in like this as you can see we're just going to drop the oil into here it's going to fill up on this side and it's going to slowly refine itself uh, I've got an infinite battery on there, that's from uh, Creative Only I believe. And it's basically going to refine it into fuel for you and it's going to fill up in there. And then if you put one of these in here, it's going to fill up with fuel for you. There we go, we've got a canister of fuel there. This is what we're going to be using to power our rockets. Uh, and for now we're just going to hold on to this until we get over to the rocket section because there's nothing else you can really do with this. So the way we're going to be making the refinery, I'll uh, quickly show you the copper canister first. Uh, basically it's a C shape instead of an upside down pant shape. Basically because Mariculture actually has this recipe so you can't combine them together. You can't combine the mods if this, otherwise you'll have conflict. So it's a C shape instead and it's basically going to make your canisters there. <clears throat> you're going to get two of them and you're going to need two to build a refinery. So to make the refinery is pretty simple. You're going to need two compressed steel, which I showed you in the last episode, which is made in the compressor with iron and two bits of coal. And you're going to need two of them. And you're also going to need two smooth stone with a furnace on the bottom and two of the copper canisters on top. So you only need to make one of these recipes for one refinery. Like, uh, you can have multiple ones of these going, of course, uh, speed up the process a little bit and help you get uh, your fuel even quicker but it is going to take a lot more power. Like I said, I've got an infinite battery on there. You should be cabling it up with solar panels or coal generator, or you can be using our redstone flux. You can be using your thermal expansion machines and stuff like that. So that's how you power that, and that's how you get yourself some fuel. Let's just grab another canister there, fill it up. So it holds a bucket. It holds a 1,000 fuel, which I believe is a bucket worth. So each of these is worth like a bucket. It's a 1,000 miller buckets or something like that makes up one bucket so that's how you get your fuel uh, so we're just going to leave that to the side for now like I said and wait until we get into the rocket section to be playing around with the fuel uh, so the next thing you want to be doing before you're going off into space obviously is gathering oxygen um, once again we're going to need another battery for this uh, and dependent on where you have this I, on the overworld you can put this anywhere and it will collect oxygen for you if you were to have it somewhere say if you had to have it in space uh, you would have to put leaves around it it will consume the leaves though and it'll take the oxygen out of them or you can use wheat uh, wheat it will take the oxygen out of it while it is growing once it is fully grown it will no longer take oxygen out of it so you're gonna have to keep uh, replanting 
and you're going to have to harvest and keep replanting your wheat if you want to keep getting oxygen which i think is a really good way it means you can't just leave it automated you actually have to keep on top of it obviously if you've got certain mods you can have an auto planter which will auto harvest and auto plant your crops for you which will keep you a good supply of oxygen but that takes a little bit of work to get into uh, so to make this oxygen collector you're going to need to make these three items first um, the first one you need to make is the oxygen fan. Uh, just quickly show you, you're going to need one oxygen fan, one oxygen concentrator, and one oxygen vent. But you need a vent to make a concentrator, so you're going to need two of these. Okay? So, we're going to begin with the oxygen fan. It's basically four compressed steel, one basic wafer, which we got from the circuit fabricator, which I showed you in the guys in the last episode. So if you need to remember how to make any of this, just go back and watch the last tutorial that I did. And then it has one piece of redstone underneath there as well, and that will make you one oxygen fan. And then you're also going to need uh, one oxy uh, two oxygen vents, sorry, because you need one for this, like is shown here. And these are pretty simple to make. It's just one compressed steel and three compressed tin, and that will give you one oxygen vent. So you need to make two of these in order to make one oxygen collector. And then to make uh sorry the oxygen concentrator you're going to need four more pieces of compressed steel two pe three pieces of compressed tin sorry one tin canister which i also showed you guys in the last episode uh, it's just an upside down pant shape with tin ingots and then you need one oxygen vent like i said from here and put all of these together uh, you're gonna need three compressed steel another tin canister two compressed aluminium one fan, one concentrator, one vent. So that's how you make one oxygen collector. And basically you're gonna put, you need to power this, <clears throat> which you can be using RF4 or the machines or like I'm doing now, infinite battery. Uh, so it will take, fill up with energy. It will collect 180 oxygen per second. That's what it's saying it's collecting here. It will obviously uh, differentiate. You've got a little particle effect here to show it's working if you've got particles on. Uh, but yeah, it will basically collect oxygen for you. And then what we're going to do from this is you're going to want to be able to store it. Uh so yeah, the way you're going to be storing it is and transporting it, you need to put it into an oxygen compressor. This is then going to compress the oxygen so you can put it into a tank. And these are the three different uh, sizes of tanks you can have. We'll get to that in a second. But obviously to get it from here to here, you're going to need to have a transport method. This is where you make the oxygen pipes. It's just going to be six glass panes like this with the middle empty. And this will give you four oxygen pipes. We can grab a couple of those. <clears throat> So I can't remember which is the input side and which is the output side. I believe the other side is the output side. So that side there will be your output side. And then you'll put it over here. And then this is going to be your input side. Uh, which is a bit weird. You've sort of got to go um, out this side and in this side. Which annoys me really. You can't modify the user interface. Um let's just quickly grab this actually let's make another one of these and we'll just shove it over here temporarily so i can show you guys so we're going to put another infinite battery in this thing so we go like that we get oxygen pipe oxygen pipe oxygen is now going to be going into this it can store we got sorry we're going to need another battery for this so this one's also powered this is the side you power the side with the green square on it and anything with a circle on it is an output so um, oxygen compressor, we're going to need another battery in that one, so we're going to have to store that with a bit of battery. It's going to oxygen use of 40 per second, so it's going to be pulling it in there, and this is where we're going to be placing our tanks or canisters to fill up. Compressor tanks up. Okay, right. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so this is where you can put oxygen tanks if you'd like to remove oxygen from a tank and put it into the compressor. And this is where you put the uh, tank if you want to fill it up. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make this one. It's pretty simple. You're going to need one of these oxygen concentrators again, which means you're going to need another one of these. 
That's going to go in the middle. You need bronze on the bottom, three aluminium across it like that, and then in the corners here, you're going to have your compressed steel. So you are going to need a hell of a lot of iron to get into Galactic Craft and actually get into space. Just bear that in mind when you do start this mod off. Let's just quickly reset the time. <coughs> So that's how you make that. Obviously, this is going to need power again. I'm using infinite batteries because I'm in creative and I'm just showing this for testing purposes. I will do a setup later on after I've done the whole rocket thing to show you guys how you can set up, have everything set up and working and running <clears throat> sort of all together. So it'll give you guys a sort of idea of how you want to set it up and get started. But I'll cover all the basics first before we get into that. Uh, so once you've done that, you're going to be wanting to put, place these in tanks. So you've compressed all your oxygen down. This is still creating oxygen. But you want to basically compress all of this into tanks. Uh, there's three different sizes of tanks. You've got the light, medium, and the heavy. Uh, this one can store... I can't remember how much they can store, actually. We'll find out right now. So if we grab one of our oxygen tanks, like I said... that. Whoops. Right, these are pretty simple to make. Sorry, I cleared the recipe before I showed you. You need one piece of compressed copper for the light one, one tin canister, and one lime wool. And that's going to make you one light oxygen tank. To make the medium, you're going to need two orange wool, two tin canisters, and two compressed tin. And to make the heavy one, you're going to need three compressed steel, three tin canisters, and three red wool. Uh, so they're not too expensive to make really, I mean if you've got tons of iron and stuff you're going to make this pretty easily <clears throat> and obviously just need red dye to dye your wool because you should have plenty from making uh, the fiber cable, uh, the aluminium wires. So once you've got all your tanks decide which one you want. So we've got the red and then we've got that one there. Right, so we're going to place this in here now it's basically going to go into this bottom slot as you can see it's filling up there. Ah, right, that's pretty cool. So by the looks of it, yeah, the number on the end, uh, the meta value, it says 900. So that means it's got, that one can take 900, this one can take 1800, and this one can take 2700. Um, <clears throat> so you basically place it in there, take a little bit of a while to fill up for you, and then it won't, it won't take very long at all, it'll fill up eventually. There's a little bit of a process there, so you just leave it in there and it will fill itself up for you. So these are your oxygen tanks. This is one thing you're going to need 100% before you even think about going to the moon uh, or going off to Mars or wherever. Well, you've got to go to the moon before you can go to Mars. Um, so you're going to need to get yourself some oxygen tanks. Um, personally, I'd say just go for these ones straight off if you can afford them. They're not too expensive at all, and they've just got the best capacity. You can wield two of these at once, by the way. I'll show you that in a minute. So the next thing you want to be doing is working on your armor. So it's like heavy durability, heavy duty helmet, heavy duty test, chest plate, legs, and boots. So these are basically made with the vanilla sort of recipes, but they're going to be using compressed steel. So once again, you need a hell of a lot of iron to get this done. I think this basically weighs you down, um, weighs you down while you're on the moon, though. I believe we'll test it out. We'll test it out when we go up there. But on top of all of this, well, I don't think this is a necessity, but on top of that, you're going to need these four basic items. You cannot go to space without these. These are mandatory. Well, this one isn't, but these three here definitely are. Uh, this one here is the oxygen gear. This is basically what's going to allow you to breathe. It basically, this is what connects to your tanks and connects to your helmet, which is this one here. You need one more oxygen concentrator, which I showed you down here. Three oxygen pipes, which I also showed you down there in the beginning somewhere there. And then just put it in, just put it round the compressor like this, two there, two there, and one there. And that'll give you one lot of oxygen gear. You're also gonna need to make a uh, oxygen mask, which is basically just one iron helmet surrounded by glass panes, not too bad at all. And that will give you one, um, sorry, oxygen mask, which is gonna, what's gonna basically allow you to use the oxygen in there and stop it. You know what I mean. <laughs> and the next thing you need is a parachute because you cannot go to the moon. I think you can. You can go to the moon, but you won't get back alive without a parachute. 
Uh, so you're going to need to make a parachute. It's going to take three canvas and three pieces of string. And to make canvas, it's basically just cross shape a string with two sticks in the corner and that will make you one canvas. These can also be dyed as you can see here. You basically just put the parachute in a crafting grid. It's shapeless so you can put it wherever you can put it down here and dye there or wherever you want and it, you can basically color your parachute. Um, so that is that. One more thing is the frequency module. <clears throat> This is basically going to allow you to have better sound in space because obviously if you're in a space suit you're not going to hear a hell of a lot going on outside. This is going to allow you to hear a little bit better on the outside. Um, so this one's pretty simple. It's one basic wafer which again I showed you in the last tutorial. Two pieces of redstone, a standard vanilla redstone repeater, two compressed iron on the side and one compressed aluminium above it and that's going to make you be allowed to hear outside of your suit while you're in space so that's basically all the gear that you're going to need for now you need to start collecting yourself some oxygen uh, you need to be refining your fuel uh, oil into fuel so we grab another canister of that one there Blop. so that's the next thing you guys need to be doing is going ahead refine your oil into fuel get a ton of fuel ready for your rocket launch uh, start collecting oxygen and compressing it into tanks. You can have more than like just the two tanks that you need to go out there. Take a couple spare in your inventory just to be safe. Um, depends how long you're planning on being up there for. And if you're trying to set some before you try and set something up there, you might go through a couple of oxygen tanks. So just bear that in mind when you go up there that you might want to take a couple with you. Um, so yeah, get all of this done, get your oxygen things done, get a couple of oxygen collectors to take up with you as well. And like I said, it works with wheat in space. So if you can grow some wheat up in space, that's fantastic. And the last thing, what else is it? I think with the oxygen compressor, you can probably take that up. Take a couple of these big canisters as well, because I'm not sure if you'll be able to grow wheat straight off. You might have to make a sealed oxygen room because things can't grow without oxygen. So you might have to do it that way. Keep making holes in the floor. And then obviously get all of your gear sorted before you go up there. So this is all the stuff that you're going to need before you go up into space. So that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode I'm going to show you the NASA workbench. Which is required to make your rocket. And how to make all the parts for your rocket and your launch pad. And then after that we can start launching ourselves off into space. And we get to go see the moon. And I'll show you guys how to build a space station between the Earth and the moon as well. But that has been it for this episode. I hope you guys have found it useful. Like I said before, if you have any questions regarding Galactic Craft, please uh, le leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you and help you guys out. Um, I've done a fair bit of research on it now, so I do know bits and pieces. And... If you guys are ever getting stuck, like I said, just drop me a message or drop a comment on this video or on my last video and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, but like I said, eh. but if you like the video, like hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on a lot of different mods and hopefully trying to cover a fair amount and cover a fair amount of mods especially a lot in the mod source mod pack because there's a couple in there that i don't know about and i'd love to learn them and i like to share my experience with you guys so i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next galactic craft tutorial goodbye